everyone, it is Yuna Gina here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another pet cas video because I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to do more. I'm just really enjoying these features that we got for create a pet and they are just so adorable. So I really had to do some more of it. And also I created the Aristocats yesterday. So I wanted to do one where I was making some dogs. So I wanted to make Lady and the Tramp. So I really like these two doggos. They are super cute. And also it's just one of my um, one of the movies that I really enjoyed as a child as well. Um, like basically I enjoyed any Disney movie that had animals in it because I love animals so much. I really did also as a child. It was just the best thing in the world. So any movie that had animals in it was good for me. Um, so basically I loved like any animal. When I say any animal, I also mean like any creatures such as spiders and creepy crawlies and anything that basically lived and breathed. Um, so I just loved everything. And I must admit that spiders are probably not my thing anymore, but I didn't mind them back then. <laughs> so, but anyways, let's get to what we're actually doing. So we're creating Tramp now and he is so cute. And don't worry, I realized that his ears are all wrong. I'm going to be changing those in a little while when I realized that those ears are definitely not the ears of Tramp. And so I looked at him and I thought, I do not think he looks like Tramp at all. What am I doing wrong? Um, and the ears really helped. So it was really difficult to paint Tramp, I felt. And he has this sort of outline around his eyes. It is actually black, but it looked horrible when I put the black there. So I'm sure you can see that yourself, that it just didn't look good. So I didn't know what to do. I tried it a million times to see if it would work or if it would look better. Um, but I ended up going with like a lighter or like a dark gray or something, and then just a thin outline which ended up looking quite good, I think. I think it turned out really nice in the end, although I just took a long time to sort of get there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys also like it. I know one of you guys actually suggested that I should make Lady and the Tramp. I was already planning on doing it when you suggested it, but thank you for the suggestion uh, because that is a really cool idea and I just really enjoyed doing that. And I think it'll be super nice to be able to place all of these characters maybe in your world, um, to have the Aristocats and have Lady and the Tramp and just sort of see them on the street. Um, and again, don't worry about that outline around his, um, around his eyes. I still don't like it. I mean, it took me forever to try and change it a million times to make it look nice. I still think it looks really ugly right now. So yeah, I'm <laughs> going to correct it again. I think making it smaller also worked a little bit. So yeah, again, the thing is all these sort of out out, not outlines, um, the eyebrows on animals in these Disney films are so awkward to make and create a pet because these animals are more sort of realistic or I don't know, they're supposed to be sort of realistic even though they're a little cartoony, but I don't know, it just feels awkward to place eyebrows on them and these outlines, but I think it turned out really nice. I, I think this is the final result with his eyes. Um, so I think this is how he's going to be looking. Uh, and I think that's quite nice. I think that's quite nice. I picked the Irish, Irish something wolfhound or whatever for him as a breed, but I just changed it to mixed breed because he is definitely, I don't think he's a breed of any type. He's just a stray and he's probably, you know, a mixed breed of some sort, I would think. Um, so I just made sure that he was that. But I think, I think his fur is quite sort of, it is a little bit fluffy. I wanted it to be a little more, uh, like a little less hairy looking, but at the same time, if I did that, he would be way too smooth. So I didn't think that looked very nice. Um, I actually just wanted to say something that I've forgotten to say to you guys in the last two videos that I've released. I was gone, some of you maybe may have uh, 
noticed I was gone for like three days or four days. I don't really remember how many now. Um, a little while ago, just like two videos ago, I was gone for a little while and that was because I was actually sick after I had my birthday on the 3rd. Um, my brother's kids were sick there and I unfortunately also caught whatever that was they were having. They had some sort of stomach bug where they threw up a lot and had a hurty tummy and all of that. So I also caught that and I just couldn't make videos because of it. Um, so that's why I was away for a little while. It wasn't because I was being lazy and not uploading. Um, just wanted to say that. I meant to say that in like two videos ago, but um, yeah, I forgot. So there it is. And I p decided to paint this sort of furry kind of pattern on his chest because, I don't know, he has that. And I feel like it, it made it look more like, uh, what's his name? Tramp. I almost called him Shabby. I don't know why. Um, he's called Vagabond in Danish. So I had to remember what he was actually called in English. <laughs> um, but yeah, now we're making um lady and i chose the english cocker spaniel i do believe her breed is supposed to be american cocker spaniel that doesn't exist so i chose the english one and then of course made some modifications i feel like lady and the tramp actually were difficult for me to make um the aristocats i felt like were it should be more difficult to make, but I felt like these were actually more difficult. So I struggled a lot with them and I felt like they didn't look right most of the time. So it just took me a long time to sort of make it look the way I wanted it to look. But I think both of them turned out really well in the end. And I actually do end up changing lady very very slightly after i'm actually done with the video um so you won't see the very very final touches all i'm really doing is i'm going to be uh, making her head larger um so and i think i put her eyes down a little bit more um so that her head looks a little bit sort of more compact or a little less sort of tall i don't know how to explain it um but i end up doing that in the end because I felt like something was not right with the lady. Something was not right. So I messaged my friend and I was like, please tell me what is wrong with lady. Does Do these even look like lady and the tramp? Because sometimes when you do your own thing and you are just sort of sitting and working at something, um, it can be really hard to judge whether you did a decent job or not. So it was really weird. I just felt like it didn't look right. So I asked her, please tell me if there is something that is not right with Lady in particular. I felt like there just was something that was not right. And she ended up telling me that she felt like her head maybe was a little bigger. Um, so I, I thought I had made her head the biggest that it could be already, but apparently I hadn't. So I was able to change it and make it a little bigger. And I think it made a really big difference. Right now, I also think her eyes are too far up. I also wanted to sort of make a smile on her. This looked super awkward. I tried to change that quite a few times. Um, but I wanted to make like a smile on her because she does have that sort of smile on her face, at least in the pictures that I used. So I wanted to have that. She also has uh, eyebrows and she also has eyelashes. So if you guys watch the Aristocats, um, create a pet video that I made yesterday um, you will see that I also had to do eyelashes on the cats there so uh, I got a little bit of practice with it um, but yeah and these are eyebrows are horrible I know don't worry about it um, right now she looks like a hot mess I think so yeah <laughs> bear with me bear with me for a little while it'll get better and I really feel like her head is like way too tall right now so I think it's a very good thing that I changed it at the end um and do I not make those eyebrows less dark no I think I don't but I place them further down I think or something or maybe I make them thinner I make them thinner for sure but yeah and that mouth was just a little awkward so I also changed that a little bit but I think it looked nice the way I changed it um but yeah, which one was your Disney movie when you were a child or if you still are a child or if you just really love 
um, Disney. So which is your favorite Disney movie? Mine was uh, The Lion King. I loved The Lion King and I also really loved The Lion King 2. I know a lot of people don't like that, um, but I really liked it. I think it was really nice and I really liked Kovo. And yeah, so <laughs> I really enjoyed The Lion King. Um, that was definitely my favorite. So which one was your favorite? And um, yeah, <laughs> let me know. Let me know. And also if if it's, a, if it's a movie that has like animals in it, cats or dogs, you can always suggest that I make them because I enjoy making these pets. So if you want to make cats and dogs or want me to make cats and dogs from your favorite Disney movie, let me know which one it is. Um, but yeah, here are the, pi the pictures, uh, the screenshots or whatever. Um, so we had the tramp there and the lady and I think she turned out really cute. I think she's super cute. But I hope you guys also like them. I'm going to upload them to the gallery just now. Um, but thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day and see you soon.